a major update from Robinhood came out for Dogecoin today. This could have huge implications on Robinhood's Doge wallets too. In this video, I'll talk about these implications and everything that happened. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we move forward, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. This will make sure that you never miss our time-sensitive updates. Now, let's get started with today's video. So Dogecoin is currently trading just over 27 cents after slipping by almost 5%. And it appears that Doge bulls have taken a pause during the previous 36 hours as the price enters an upside consolidative mode after Thursday's tremendous leap to four month high of 35 cents. And as per Dogecoin's daily chart, its price is attempting to defend the important 200 daily moving average around 27 cents as it extends the corrective decline from the 35 cents mark. However, Doge price is continuing to oscillate inside the $0.27 cents to $0.29 cents trading range as bulls bide their time before extending the renewed upsurge convincingly. Last week's 27% gain extended the upside breakthrough from a two-month long falling channel and after its price closed above the falling trendline resistance at $0.27, cents, the channel breakout occurred. On the big rise, Doge bulls reclaimed the upward pointing 200 DMA and have managed to close above it so far. And Dogecoin's recent decline is being ascribed to a dramatic decline in the relative strength index indicator. The pullback appears to be shallow and could represent an excellent opportunity for Doge bulls to purchase on the dips as the relative strength index remains above the midline. And if the bulls reclaim control, Doge price could resume its multi-month highs above 35 cents and the next upside resistance level for Doge bulls is located at the pattern aim of 44 cents. Before we talk more about Doge analysis, let's talk about the major Robinhood update. So Robinhood has recently revealed that Dogecoin transactions accounted for 40% of its crypto transaction revenue. Now this is crucial because this was down significantly from 62% in the three months ending June 30. Now this has a few implications. We heard Robinhood say in a previous update that its future is basically dependent on Dogecoin's success. Now that Dogecoin's share of Robinhood's crypto transaction revenue has dropped, things are looking pretty bad for Robinhood. I'm not too concerned about Dogecoin because of all the things that are coming for it this year. There's the ETH and Doge Bridge, Doge Burn Wallet from Doge Labs, and Doge One Mission. And then Elon is tweeting about it every single week. But I'm quite concerned about Robinhood because of this. If people aren't choosing to buy Doge at Robinhood, its overall crypto transaction revenue is bound to fall. And this could be a bad for Robinhood in the long run, which also implies a delay in the Dogecoin wallets we've been talking about. Do you think it'll have an impact on Robinhood's wallets? Let me know in the comments section below. Now let's talk about Shiba Inu for a minute. As per experts, Shiba Inu is now pursuing Dogecoin. However, this could be beneficial for Dogecoin because it will offer it a stronger sense of independent identity, and competition between these two coins could result in increasing demand overall. So we know that it's unsurprising that Shiba Inu's price has increased by more than 140% in less than a week and its market cap is constantly evolving, and it's understandable why investors are concerned about their assets fluctuating significantly every few days. However, experts think that Dogecoin may now retake its position as investors begin to reinvest in it as a result of the positive returns. Apart from this, Dogecoin has been consolidating for a lengthy period of time in a triangle pattern and it will soon give a breakthrough and we may see another bull run for Doge. Meanwhile, it appears that Dogecoin's current price behavior is typical following a huge rise where Doge went past the 35 cents level, and with this recent candlestick closing above the cloud, experts think that Dogecoin is poised to make a run at 50 cents. So experts think that Dogecoin's price has undoubtedly been a test of bull's patience. On October 24, Dogecoin closed strongly above the cloud, and this close also validated Dogecoin's bullish entrance. And according to experts, this suggests that Dogecoin has a large support structure between $0.27 cents and $0.28, cents, which is likely to withstand any short-selling pressure in the near term and experts are saying that Dogecoin's next move upward will be to target the $0.50 cents mark. So let's wait and see how Doge trends in the coming days. However, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that Doge can hit the 50 cents mark in the near future? Let me know in the comments section below.
On the other hand, Bitcoin has surged to $62,000 after it maintained the $60,000 level for some days. Recently, Bitcoin fell below $60,000 and the same situation persisted for two days. However, over the last few hours, Bitcoin has reclaimed the $60,000 objective, reaching $62,000, and it appears that the price of Bitcoin remains optimistic. Additionally, apart from the following barrier level of $62,000, if Bitcoin overcomes it, the next resistance level is very certainly going to be $63,000. Furthermore, crypto analysts think that if Bitcoin's impending collapse occurs between $56,000 and $58,000, this will undoubtedly provide the best support for Bitcoin's dramatic rise beyond $63,000. As a result, if Bitcoin remains above the $56,000 price range, it will almost always remain bullish. Meanwhile, crypto analyst Tone Vase recently stated that Bitcoin might break out once it reaches $63,000. However, he sees an initial transition to the $55,000 level for Bitcoin. So now we are witnessing Bitcoin consolidating over $60,000 after rising to a new all-time high of just under $67,000 earlier this month. Considering this, Tone Vase believes that the $55,000 level for Bitcoin would be an ideal entry point, but does not rule out a slightly larger correction before Bitcoin reaches $100,000. He said that Bitcoin will reach six digits at $100,000, which corresponds to the trend-based Fibonacci extension level of 61.8%, and this would establish a new all-time high for Bitcoin. So the overall price analysis for Bitcoin is bullish and now let's wait and see how it trends in the near future. Now coming to some recent developments in the crypto world, it has been reported that Tinkoff Investments, which is an online brokerage portal operated by the Russian bank Tinkoff, may soon offer crypto services to its clients. Dmitry Panchenko, the firm's CEO, highlighted that the crypto sector is a new technology that thrives on research and development and they are monitoring this expansion and are aiming for a more diverse environment in the Russian Federation. He went on to say that the volume of Russian assets traded on crypto exchanges exceeds $15 billion, indicating that locals have a rising appetite for cryptos, even if they must venture beyond their home country's borders. Hence, he stated that the Russian government should enable local financial service providers to offer Bitcoin and other crypto-related products. On the other hand, a recent survey in Russia confirmed that Russians regard crypto as an alluring financial option. 77% of respondents rated Bitcoin and altcoins as preferable to gold, while only 9% favored gold. So this indicates the rising popularity of cryptos in Russia, and it appears that widespread adoption of cryptos in Russia is on the cards. And as per another report, a Brazilian investment bank BTG Pactual has begun rolling out a crypto trading app. And while the app will support a variety of cryptos, customers of the bank will also be able to make direct crypto-based investments using the app. At the moment, users of the bank's Mint platform can only purchase Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, BTG Pactual is hopeful that the new app will eventually support a large number of additional cryptos. Speaking on the deployment, Andre Perdillo, the bank's head of virtual assets, confirmed that expectations are high for the platform to allow additional crypto trades in the near future. Meanwhile, it's worth noting that no other Brazilian investment bank has gone as far as BTG Pactual in allowing its clients to invest directly in crypto. So it is a great development for the crypto world. And in another great news, Jelena McWilliams, chair of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, recently stated that U.S. regulators are considering a standardized method for banks and clients to hold cryptos. The U.S. regulators hope that by doing so, they might induce these firms to hold their Bitcoin within the country's regulated corporations, thereby preserving some influence over the crypto sector. And McWilliams further stated that a panel of U.S. bank regulators is evaluating the final verdict. These regulators hope that by taking this strategy, they might pave the way for banks to enter the Bitcoin and other crypto marketplaces. The plan includes proposed legislation limiting how a bank can keep a crypto asset, its custody, clients trading crypto-based products, and the use of cryptos as collateral for loans. And if allowed, I believe that this plan will herald in a new wave of crypto adoption by allowing millions of users to obtain access to the crypto industry, crypto services, and financial products based on this new asset class via a traditional gateway.
So let us wait and see if this plan is approved by the regulators. On the other hand, popular investor Kevin O'Leary has recently stated that Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates sovereign funds have the true chance to revolutionize the crypto market. O'Leary highlighted that the Middle Eastern sovereign funds represent a significant and disruptive opportunity for cryptos and a 1% allocation from Saudi and UAE sovereign wealth funds may have a significant impact on the crypto markets. He outlined their strategy, claiming that the funds are disciplined and adhere to a risk diversification principle that normally limits exposure to a single asset or stock to no more than 5%. He also said that the funds were among the world's biggest pools of capital and that a multi-billion dollar mandate might send the price of many cryptos soaring. So I think that this is great news for the crypto world and crypto holders are going to love it if this happens. And this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Goodbye. Take care.